All right, so this is the M404A1 fuse, as you see here. You could tell the difference from the M405 fuse on these because the pin that's here, it's hard to see here, but you can see it's square and the hole is square. So that means that uh, if it's round, it's an M405, and the square ones make an M404. Same idea, square hole, round hole. All right, so there's a cap that goes on here for this one here. This is it. Normally it screws in here and it's replacing an actual, it's replacing the actual uh, primer slash detonator assembly. So we'll start by just as you see the hole that's there. This part actually plays a part in the detonator. Well, in the fuse, and that hole is where your firing pin is going to hit the, the primer, which is there, and then it would ignite the rest of the parts here. And here is your fuse. When you get the, uh, the, the rocket here, this is starting off, as you can see, the focuses in here. It would start off like this. You would have a safety clip that's here. Goes right around, covers this. You could see it in any pictures. I'll try to put one up now. Anyways, it goes right around here. And you just undo it. And when you undo it, this releases here and catches in there. Automatically, you know this is safer because if you drop this at this point, nothing's going to happen. And uh, even if you dropped it from a high distance, this pin is going to keep it from going. In order for it to actually fire, first off, the pin's got to be sort of pressed in with the uh, when it's in the tube. So when it's in the tube, it's going to hold it down, not completely, but it's going to hold it to the uh, to the area like that. While it's like that, once again, it's safe. You could drop your tube. You could do whatever. Nothing's going to happen. This is the firing pin just fell out. So what I'll do is uh, try to get it aligned here. Anyways, so this is your set up here. Uh, I'm going to try to make it work for you, but this isn't a very uh, easy fuse to show like this. I'm going to have to take it apart after and show you how it works. So when the rocket fires, the uh, inertia of all the parts, this is still going to be here. I don't know why it's doing that, but this will be held down like this. The inertia of it firing, this ring here that you see, is going to be pushed back. If I could get it to push back far enough. Uh, I can't. Oh, there you go. So it gets pushed back far enough and it locks on to, or locks in behind something. So now, when it comes out of the tube, the firing pin, or oh, the safety here, is able to escape under the spring pressure here. And now your whole setup here is free. At this point, if you found one and it was like this, dropping it would cause it to explode. So the first, as it goes now, you're going to get an impact. And as you see, the big 
piece of brass that's in there. That's going to act like a, uh, well, just to push the firing pin forward. And this is going to, you can't see it, but this whole thing moves forward with the weight. Obviously, you'll see when it comes out. That moves forward, which pushes this up here into the ring they have on the back here. So it's going to hit the back of the ring, which will cause this to move forward like that and set off the uh, the rest of the train, the explosive train, to set off the rocket. So I'm just going to take it all apart now for you. What you have here is the side that has the spring with the little detent, which holds the ring back once it fires. So I could release that. I'm not using the right screwdriver, but I've loosened everything up, so I'm not going to destroy it any more than I had to when I took the thing off. That's there, the spring's there, and the pin's there. Alright. Now, the screw on this side just holds it aligned. So we're going to do the same thing here. Unscrew this, and now it's released all the parts inside. Now, turn this over. As you see in here, it's just an empty part now. Nothing else is left in here. This is your whole setup. So, as I said before, the safety pin here, when it's held in place, you see how it's with the actual safety on it. So if you drop anything, this isn't going to move, which doesn't let anything else move forward. Because as you can see, sort of it moves but it it's locked when this is in the tube this ends up sitting about like this so the pin sits here and when it fires this whole ring comes back so now this ring comes back and it locks back with the piece in the uh, with a little pin that you see here and it's spring that you can see anyways so that little pin holds us back like this so now this is completely free and the spring pressure from this one here just pulls it right out and now this whole thing is free it sits like this when it impacts so it's going like this. When it impacts, the weight that you see here, this giant weight here, continues to move forward. So it does this. Moves forward a bit. And that there. Fits in here. What that does... see as that moves forward hard to see in there but it would stay down and as it moves forward this little firing pin I'll put it against gravity so it makes it easier to see this little firing pin is going to impact and set off the wish it was clear in there but and that'll set off the firing um, the primer that's in there. Once again, it's sharp enough to be a set that it's a stab primer in there. And uh, that just holds it uh, in place, in position up against the part there. So this is your little firing pin, and the rest of it is just to give it the, uh, the movement forward and to be a safety on the whole thing. So hopefully that was clear enough to see how that works. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. And uh, you could tell that's a little bit more complex than the 
World War II version. This also means that you aren't going to accidentally blow yourself up by dropping it once you've taken your safety off. And it really has to be fired out of the barrel. It has to fire to completely arm itself. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was clear enough. And um, if you have any questions, like I said, please feel free to ask them in the comments below.